All right, hey, it's Dan with Tools and Action. You got Eric on the camera. Today we're going over a mule project, a uh, new radio. We took the old one out. This one fits our needs a lot better. We're doing this inside today because it's windy out. We all know how our windy videos have uh, turned out. This is the JHD 910 BTK from Jensen. It's a heavy duty radio set uh, for ATVs, UTVs, um, tractors, you know, uh, excavators. Anywhere you kind of need a radio, this is going to be the radio for you. Now, uh, there's a lot of cool features that we're going to go over, but it also comes with these Bluetooth headphones. And the Bluetooth headphones, you know, at first, kind of, I was like, what would I need Bluetooth headphones for? But after getting them, I use them constantly. We tore up a kitchen floor. I use them. They can work off your iPhone. They also have a mic, so when people call, you just stop, hit a button, and you're talking just like you would any other headphones. Noise canceling cancels out all the stuff. Uh, another cool thing is, is, you know, you're working a fence line. Um, get your chainsaw out, you got your, your headset on, and then all of a sudden you get a phone call or whatever, you, you're alerted to that, you can listen to your music, all that good stuff. But as long as you're within 30 feet of the vehicle or 30 feet of the Bluetooth device that you're using it with. Uh, we also got some speakers, so what we're going to do now is it's kind of in a hard area to show the camera here, so I'm going to bring the camera in close and I'll walk you over some of the features of this radio. Okay, what's up everybody? So here, uh, I kind of mounted this in the mule right here. I put a spacer behind it, and uh, it's got lots of ways for the air to get around it and cool. So this is the actual head unit of the radio. It's AM FM tuner. Um, it has a front and rear panel with audio inputs for uh, iPods, MP3 players, stuff like that. Uh, has Bluetooth, that Bluetooth over to the uh, headsets that we just showed you. The coolest feature of this whole thing is the NOAA weather band. I mean, that's just, it's awesome that it's a feature on this. Uh, you know, if, if you're in a skid loader and bad weather's coming, or if you're out in an ATV, you know when bad weather's coming, it will automatically switch to the channel if there's an alert. Obviously, we have it on there right now, and we'll turn it up a little. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for North Central Illinois. So, North obviously, Illinois, I love that feature. I love the radio, or weather. I always listen to it all the time. Uh, you know, up here we have AM, FM. Has really good reception with the uh, antenna. If you look over there, Eric. Can you show it to the side? Yeah, I mounted it right on the side there. Great antenna. It works really good. Um, you can also change the colors here from green to orange. Real simple uh, connection. It's got a two-wire connection. It holds all your stations for 30 days without any battery power. It's got internal memory, which is good. Uh, it's corrosion resistant. 30 presets, 18 FM and 12 AM. 24-hour uh, clock if you need be. All the controls here are backlit. Real rugged unit. Uh, I like this thing a lot. I mean, when we hose down the mule and wash it, we're not worried about the radio getting wet, getting dirty, anything like that because it's washable and we completely work with it. Uh, the headphones here range up to 32 feet. Now, what's cool about these things, like I told you guys, I've been using them on my uh, project for my floor. And uh, they're awesome. They lasted, it says they lasted the 10 hours, but I almost got like four days worth of work. Maybe I didn't work eight hour days each day, but I'm sure, I'm pretty sure I got over 10 hours with the, with this headset. So love the headsets, real cool feature. And like I said, if you want to walk away from the vehicle, you're working on something, you, you know, you can stay within 32 feet of the vehicle and uh, still hear what's going on. So... Definitely an awesome, awesome unit. Uh, we also got the JX HD35 speakers. I don't know if you can see those, Eric. Can you see those down there? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Those speakers, uh, basically, real easy to mount. They mount up in there. And, uh, you know, they're not like the basiest, loudest you know, best sounding speakers in the world, but they're pretty decent, you know, for a work vehicle or whatever. So if you want to remain in communication, you know, like I said, get your weather, stuff like that. Uh, Definitely check out the Jensen HD audio series. We'll have all the links at the bottom of the page here and in the YouTube section. And also go to toolsinaction.com. Don't forget to check out our Facebook and Twitter pages.